what? Nobody's saying this, by the way. Nobody's saying any of this, by the way. It's like all bullshit they've created in their minds. Much to get the weirdos online. Oh my god, it's bounding into comics because that is totally an accurate source of information that has never once lied at all, right? The Twitter lunatics, the Marvel stands, worked up over Chris Pratt because they despise this man. Even though, by all accounts, he's one of the nicest people in all of Hollywood. Keep in mind, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about him. Nobody. People seem to enjoy his shit. Yes, he's a good actor. Like, even when he was bad, he was okay. Like, I don't know where they're getting this narrative that, like, oh, people hate him, they want him dead. No, we don't. Mainly because he keeps his politics out of shit. Yeah, he says something once in a while, but he's not, like, on Twitter, like, what's his name? The dumbass from, like, Andromeda and Hercules? Sorbos? Like, throwing stupid shit. It's mostly, like, just Christian, basic conservative stuff. They despise him, not for what he said, but for what they think he believes. For the beliefs that they're putting on him. The words they're trying to put in his mouth. And once again, they're coming at him over nothing. Remember this headline from months ago? Chris Pratt faces cancellation yet again as Twitter users take offense to fake tweets. When Marvel stands made up fake Chris Pratt tweets and spread them like wildfire and had all of these lunatics, a lot of blue check marks included. Okay, one, stop being triggered by blue check marks, you absolute fucking snowflake. And two, fake tweets are everywhere. It's not just him. Everybody has them. Are you fucking kidding me? Why are you acting like this is just something that happens to him? Calling for him to be fired. That, of course, came on the heels when Robert Downey Jr. and other Marvel co-stars had to speak up for him after he faced a cancellation mob, all because of his quote-unquote political beliefs that no one's ever actually seen or heard they just assume what his political beliefs are and the fact that he used to attend a church how dare he how absolutely dare he well this time it's it's this was that church like one of the fucking we hate black people churches that seem to be everywhere in south in the south of america it's right here this report, which is from an interview that happened a year and a half ago, James Gunn says someone will die in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This is coming from this April 18th. James Gunn reveals someone will die in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Not even much of a tease, to be honest with you. I think someone has died in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's an enemy, whether it's, uh, whether it's a friend like we saw with Yondu. Uh, right? People die in Guardians of the Galaxy movies. It's not even that much of a tease. However, it's led to Chris Pratt trending. And I think we all understand why. Because of these freaks out there. The people with pronouns in their bios. The people that cannot handle another opinion. So instead of muting or blocking or whatever, they call for people to be excised from society. They call for you to be fired from their job. They don't want you or your family to eat. All because of the way that they think you think. Just take in the fucking stupid of what he just said. He's doing the thing he's complaining about right now. Like, I'm literally over here saying, like, yeah, we should decommodify this stuff so you never go hungry again. And he's over here, they don't want you to eat, they want you to starve, they want you to die. Motherfucker, I want health care for everybody. Politically, socially, or otherwise. Someone's late to the one's gotta go game. The answer is still Chris Pratt. Uh, hopefully Chris Pratt's Star-Lord. Uh, Chris Pratt is the most. Okay, so first off, that first one was nothing. What is this? Most basic, boring, white bread, attractive Hollywood white guy. Uh, he's lost weight, broke Anna Ferris's heart, votes conservative, and donates anti-LGBT. Yawn. Next. It's just over and over and over again, right? All of a sudden, they start coming out against Chris Pratt. All it takes is one tweet from an interview that's a year... Oh, yikes. So he follows a little, like, genocide advocator. That's weird. ...and a half old, and these people start to go nuts because they want him gone uh chris pratt hasn't even said he's conserved oh look he's following ben shapiro he's following ben shapiro and there's much more nasty shit if 
Yeah, Ben Shapiro like literally advocated for genocide, by the way. He didn't say Hamas. He said, Palestinians need to be wiped off the map for Israel to survive. And then he, like, backed every massacre they ever did. Like, he's literally like a genocider. If you look through some of the replies of this stuff, there really, really is. Uh, and then someone, Brandon Morse, or Brandon... Also, look, how do you know he voted for conservative? Because he says he's a conservative? Conservatives don't usually, like, vote liberal? Morse comes out and says, Chris Pratt's the nicest guy in Hollywood, yet the mere mention of his name sends people into tantrums. Yeah, he might have different beliefs than you. Stop trying to send him into the blacklist gulag. Call me. Video editor at Red State. Uh-huh. Down, little Stalins. Well, a lot of people are replying to that like this disgusting person. If you... Oh, fuck, he backs conversion therapy. For fuck's sake. If you consider supporting conversion therapy to be nice, then sure, Chris Pratt's the nicest man in Hollywood. And all that they're doing, all that they're doing is linking him to a church he used to attend because one other person who may have ran that church at one point has certain beliefs. That That is the most flimsy argument you can possibly make, but that's what they attach to him. Uh-huh. All right, I looked up this place. Holy shit, is it bad. Not only is it like conversion therapy shit, there was child abuse scandals, money laundering, fucking cult-like slave labor shit. Like they interfered in people's personal lives to get jobs done. It was fucking insane. Why are you defending this place? Why is Pratt even associated with this? Chris Pratt's the nicest man in Hollywood. And all that they're doing, all that they're doing is linking him to a church he used to attend because one other person who may have ran that church at one point, has certain beliefs. Uh, by the way, he's lying here. It's not one person who ran it. It's literally like the entire church is apparently this fucked up. It's not one person. It's the whole church. Like, holy shit, is he lying like a motherfucker. He didn't look this up at all. Beliefs. That That is the most flimsy argument you can possibly make, but that's what they attach to him. By the way, the other person was Ellen Page who brought it up. She literally pointed out that he went there. And yeah, it's not changed. It's still the same. This stuff happened in 2019. It's not like this happened two decades ago and they've had a complete reform. No, this happened like two years ago. This was still their stance as of last year, as far as I know. And they just disavowed it in a, in a statement. They haven't changed anything else. They just disavowed it in a statement. Meanwhile, um, child abuse is still rampant in it. They're still the, um, they, they like force volunteers and shit to work overtime. They don't pay them right. They fucking interfere in their lives. Demanding, by the way, that people who are not part of the church but are just volunteering to help, they must get permission from the pastor before they date, before they get married, before any of this shit. It's like literally like a fucking cult. That's supporting this thing. That is what happens when you give these lunatics any sort of voice, when you give them any sort of power. That is why you have the reaction to Shang-Chi that we're seeing. These people that have no idea what they're talking about, who have room temperature IQs. That the irony coming from this motherfucker who is openly disavowed by fucking Snyder and sat in his chair like a two-year-old, pouting like a bitch. And now was fucking crying because he didn't do 10 seconds of fucking research into this church, which is fucking disgusting in every way, shape, and form. And should be immediately shut the fuck down. Like, there's not a country in the world that would allow this to go on. It's bullshit that it's still around. But because he has to defend another conservative, he doesn't care. The pedophilia, all that, it's okay. He has to defend another conservative. Because the blue check marks have triggered him. That are suddenly flooding people's comments, flooding people's mentions, the Marvel stands, the losers. Oh the my god, that's why he's mad. He's mad because he said something stupid about a movie, he got proven wrong, and now he's being called out on it, and now he's losing his shit. What a fucking bitch. Own up to it. Freaks. These are the people that Disney is trying to attract, whether it's Star Wars, whether it's Marvel, whatever. And you reap what you sow. Uh, when these are the type of people you pander to, this is your audience now. And it is just really sad. Uh, there's Brandon Morse's tweet, like we said. It reminded me, right? It reminded me of what we saw 
Like I said, when Robert Downey Jr. had to step out, what happens when Robert Downey Jr. steps out? Mark Ruffalo, uh, Zoe Saldana, all these people who have different... Keep in mind, when the Ghostbusters came out, the all-female one, the woman leading that got called far worse than this on Twitter. By these assholes. They called her all kinds of filthy names. Every slur you can think of right now, uh, they fucking said it to her. And then they said that. Then she said they said that. Oh, she's just being a baby because she quit. It's like you threw racial slurs at her. Why is it okay for you guys to do it, but not for this to happen? Different beliefs than Chris Pratt, right? They say, hey, listen, Chris is a good dude. He's a good, solid dude. I don't. No, he's fucking not. He's a piece of shit. If he was ever associated with this church and doesn't actively now work to fucking destroy it, because holy shit. Like, are you kidding me? If I was ever a part of that church, I'd be getting fucking gasoline myself to burn it the fuck down. I don't know why you're trying to put that stuff on him. They get attacked too. It doesn't matter what their race is, what their gender is. Zoe Saldana starts getting racist attacks against her for defending Chris Pratt from these lunatics. We're only like an hour into him trending right now. It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So I'm going to get it, Dennett, by the way. Get out ahead of this and talk about it and roast these lunatics. These um, you couldn't roast toast. Also, keep in mind, he jumped on this because it was news and it got clicks. He doesn't actually care. Pieces of human garbage who cannot stand Chris Pratt, not because of something he's said to them, because of something they think he believes. And uh, he fucking believes that if he was part of that church, you dumb fuck. That's literally what a church is. I don't go to a Catholic church. Because I'm not fucking Catholic, you idiot. Then again, I don't go to a fucking Christian church either. Not because I don't believe it, because I don't trust the church. That is something that is so, so different. I understand that 90% of the people in Hollywood probably don't agree with what I think. Probably may even hate me for that. However, if you're not sitting there and espousing that shit over and over again because that's not why people care about you people don't care about chris pratt because of his political opinions people don't how dare you not be the dancing monkey that's what he's saying right now how dare you not be a dancing monkey you're not allowed to have opinions your job is to dance so you dance we care about uh robert downey jr because of his political opinions we care about them because they're pretending to be someone else and as soon as you start shoving that shit down people's throats, that's when it becomes a problem. One thing I wanted to point out was this person. Put this out there. Ignorant people on the internet. Chris Pratt is a bad person. Literally people who know him personally. Talking to all these different people who probably disagree with him politically a lot. Constantly. Uh, there were people who thought Stalin and Hitler were good. I'm not kidding. They thought he was a good person. There were people who thought Robert E. Lee was a good person. There were people who thought the terrorists who bombed the fucking trade centers were good people. I don't give a fuck what your friends say about you. I care about your actions and what you believe in. And if this guy was ever part of that church, that kind of points to what he believes in. Showing him so much love, right? Josh Gad, I guarantee these guys disagree politically on everything, right? Bryce Dallas Howard, right? Over and over again, people that disagree with him politically, possibly, um, they, they sh they're like, this dude is fucking awesome. I love this dude. But the Marvel stands can't handle it. And they're going to keep coming after him time and time again. You might say, oh, Chris Pratt's not being canceled. He's still making movies. Th the point is, these people are trying to get him fired each and every time his name trends. No, they're not. They're just saying they don't want him to be in it anymore. Like... You don't know what this means. You don't know what words mean. You're an idiot. You you can't fucking cancel someone like this. They're too powerful in the media. Yeah, people don't want him in the movie anymore. Because he believes in some dog shit stuff and was a part of a fucking cult church that had rampant pedophilia and believed you could shock the gay out of people. Why are you defending this? Has he ever spoken out against it? Because I have not found a single piece of information that he has ever spoken out against that church. Which is odd, because it's not exactly a secret. I found this information after searching for it for 10 fucking seconds.
It's disgusting. It's despicable. And we have to continue to call this bullshit out and put a stop to it sometimes before it even gets going too far. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Yeah, don't do none of that. This guy's a fucking... This guy's a wannabe Jeremy, which makes him, like, the beta fucking of betas. Like, he's not even, like, the quartering level. He is... He is the guy that the quartering pisses on after he got done fucking the other Jeremy. Like, he's not even worth fucking. He is the guy who gets pissed on to clear out the bladder.